Hello again, everybody. Welcome to Sci-Fi Guy 86 and his Let's Play, or my Let's Play, I should say. I'm talking about myself in the third person. What's mm -hmm. wrong? With me? Come on now. Anyway, um, in this episode, I am focusing on building some. Well, as you see in my inventory here, I've got some redstone and piston and redstone repeaters and some redstone torch. I want to build a redstone contraption. Um, now, I don't have sticky pistons, as you know, but I do have everything else. So I'm going to go ahead and build a uh, very simple contraption, um, a little more complicated than I would like it to be, but pretty still pretty simple. Um, I'm just going to go to bed real quick. I think my bed's up here. I need to move it into the other room, I think, because I'm always in there in the storehouse. Alright, so now, I've got everything I need, I just need to go build it. Okay, and I am on hard difficulty, so I want to make sure that I'm not going to get killed before I start this thing. Is that a zombie? Right here, I think, is where I want to put it. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start digging this out. Um, right here is going to be a piston. Oop, there's a tunnel right there. That'll be interesting. We'll see how this goes. Hopefully nothing messes with me. Let's go ahead and place some cobblestone in. Alright, there we go. In good shape. to wire this up. Pretty easy way of doing that. It's just redstone dust on top of one block, redstone repeater right underneath. Okay, well I can't place it because I'm standing there. There we go. Um, on this side, I would like to It's going to be a much simpler contraption because, like I said, it's it's not sticky pistons. So we, we're just moving a block around more like. So what we have to do is like that. Pull my smooth stone. Place that in there. Okay. So what's going to happen is I'm going to activate this one to close it. And I'm going to activate this one to open it. Pretty simple. Um, it won't be hard at all to work to build, I should say. Okay, so right here, same thing as the other side. Redstone dust, and a repeater. There we go. Now I would like to dig this wall back a little bit so I have a little more room to work with. That also means I'm going to dig into this cave a little more, but we should be alright. So, <laughs> now it's just a matter of opening and closing the door. Um, I would want to have a, a open function over there as well. So, probably want to dig this out, actually, as well as this and that, probably all the way out to where there's like so. Actually, I probably want... There we go. Um, there we go. Concentrating, because I don't want to fall into the cavern. That would be bad. 
Alright. Okay. So I'm going to put a torch right up here just so nothing spawns in here while I'm doing all this. I'm also going to put a torch right here for the same reason. Probably put a torch right there for the same reason. <coughs> now this contraption, when I, when I put a button on that block there, what's going to happen is this contraption will open this door. What I need now is the closing function. Now here I have the open, the block to open it right there. So that's where I'll put, actually I'll probably put the, the button right there. And that's where I'll put my button. No, you know what? Screw that. Change my mind. I don't want it on the bottom. I want it on the top. So I'll probably put it on top of that. And then, when I press that button, it'll open the door. On this other side, I'll have a separate button that will close the door. And that door will be pretty easily functionable. Um, one thing to keep in mind, though, it's not very centered. So what I'm going to do is extend this one so that I can have the one wide hallway put the button on that block. Now we're going to need some more stone blocks because I'm running out of stone blocks, but because I need to fill all this in. But we need to put a button right there. We need to put a button. Oh, geez. We can't do that. I just realized. We cannot have two buttons occupy the same block. So we're going to have to put it right there. Okay, well, we'll put a button right there, we'll put a button right there. We'll fill, fill all this in with stone in here, and then we'll use the button, we'll use the door, and it should work. Um, also, we're going to have to put a block right there and put a button on it, or put a button on this block. I think I'll put the button right there. Alright, so let's go ahead and build a couple buttons. We're going to need four total buttons, and we also need some stone blocks, as I said. Stone blocks, I believe, are in this chest. Yes. And we need some buttons. I'm just going to make buttons out of stone blocks. Oh, it, that was just there. There we go. Alright, and we need those buttons. We're probably going to need those. Probably don't need the torches. I built the torches just because I like to have torches too, and also they go into building the repeaters. Um, but I actually don't really need the torches in this build. It's a simple enough build as it is. Alright, so. Go ahead and place my block back here just to. Oops. Just to make sure that I'm safe. Alright, and then. Right here, we're going to put a block. right there. I'm going to put a button right there. And I'll close the door. See? And it retracts so that it's ready for this button to open it. Oh, but this button doesn't... Oh, because I didn't replace this block. Well, you have to replace this block first. And don't forget the redstone dust on top. But now, it'll open it and it's ready to go. And then we need to take care of the outside button. And to do that, I'm going to need to dig one of these away. Go and press this again. So it's close to doing this. And we're going to have to run this button probably from here. And out this way. Right there would actually probably work quite well. We're going to go right up to there. Make sure that we have redstone dust down there. All the way. And redstone dust right here. And that's ready to activate. Cool. So now we just have to press the button to get out. And break our little guy there. And then we're going to want to put the button right here. And honestly, I'd like to have the button right there, so I'm going to have to bury this a little more in order to do that. I've got a couple extra blocks here, so I'll go ahead and use them. Also got a repeater right here, just to make sure that I don't run out of space with the... 
Okay, so the recording stopped right as a creeper blew up next to me. Um, we're going to go ahead and run back over there and get our stuff. Hopefully I didn't lose everything. And also, hopefully I didn't lose too much on the build itself that I was just working on. Oh, lost a stack of pistons. That sucks. Alright, well... <laughs> this was going to be the special episode with all kinds of awesome stuff, but turns out this turned out to be a uh, creeper creeper fest. All right, well, at least I've got all my buttons still hooked up. I'm just going to need to build two more pistons, and then I can yeah, just build two more pistons, re reattach those, and then I can attach my button out here. So let me just go ahead and finish this out here real quick. Alright, I need my repeaters. There's my repeaters. Okay, and then, oops, not there. I want that block to go there. I want that block to go there. And I need a button. There's my button. I need my button to go there. And that'll close it. Oh, but I need these blocks to go here, because that got blown away. And then all this has to get filled in. And I'm going to need another button, looks like, to open it. And... Oh, there's a liner. Okay, so I need another button. And I need... two more pistons. Alright. Oops. Whew, all right, that was kind of scary. Now let's go, oops, do I have, I have one of them, oh cool, so one of them didn't blow up at least. That's good. And there we go. So now I've got my pistons. I need my, okay, so pistons, oh I need a button, there it is, there's my button. And then I need, That was it, right? Yeah, that was it. Alright, so now we just have to go to sleep so it's daytime, so we don't get blown up again. Well, technically the creepers could still be out, but at least they won't be spawning near me. Alright, so let's go up here, go to sleep. Holy crap. That was intense. That was not the first time that I died via creeper. Creepers are my weakness, I have to admit. Especially on PC. On Xbox I can handle myself, it's just PC. The system lags too much, I guess. That time it was because the recording stopped and it popped up a window that says, recording has stopped. And I was like, oh crap. And I got blown up at the same time, so... It kind of exited me out of the program at the same time, which was not pleasant. Oh, I should probably go ahead and equip those pants as well as grab those. And then I need to go like so, and like so. And now my secret passageway is active. I'm going to want to put a torch probably somewhere near here. Just enough to finish the... There we go. Cool. So there's my secret ac entrance, guys. Something very simple you can do. Um, with very little redstone, and it works very well, very quick. Um, you, you don't need sticky pistons for that, and it still works in survival. So, Also, on the outside, something to keep in mind, you can always remove these buttons and place them only when you need to use them and then break them after you're done with them. So there's that, too. But yeah, so that has been another episode of my Let's Play, guys, episode 20. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed watching me die. And please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.